Welcome to today's episode. We're diving into the Model Context Protocol. That's right. It's a framework for structuring data models. Interesting. Can you share what MCP aims to achieve? Absolutely. MCP provides a consistent way to define and manage state. So it's all about keeping data organized? Exactly. It helps in maintaining clarity across applications. What kind of applications benefit the most from this protocol? Great question. Any application dealing with complex data flows. Like in web development? Exactly. Think of apps that depend heavily on user input and state. Got it. How does MCP work across different programming languages? MCP is versatile. It has practical examples in .NET, Java, and Python. That's pretty cool. Does it change from one language to another? Not fundamentally. The concept remains, but syntax varies. So, for instance, a model in Python looks different than in Java? Yes. Each language has its own conventions for implementing it. Can you give an example of a simple model in one of the languages? Sure. In Python, you'd use classes to represent a model. That makes sense. Are there any specific terms we should know? Definitely. Terms like context and state are essential. What do those terms mean in the MCP context? Context refers to the surrounding environment of a data model. Ah, so it's about the conditions in which data operates? Exactly. And state is the data that the application recognizes. How does understanding this help developers? It streamlines development and enhances maintainability. So less confusion in the code, right? Yes. Clear models lead to smoother collaboration among teams. That's a huge benefit. Any tips for someone starting with MCP? Start with simple examples and gradually tackle complexity. That's great advice. Anything else you'd like to add? Just that the MCP is a valuable tool for modern developers. Thanks for sharing. Before we wrap up, any parting thoughts? Keep experimenting. The key is practice with the protocol. Wonderful. Thanks for joining us today and happy coding.